Hello there. Um, hey guys, so what I'm going to talk about today is actually, it's, it's genuinely a tutorial and I hope that it's a really good one because this is some cool stuff I'm going to show you today. So what I've got here, right, is my, I say my, it uses CIG's model. I'm sorry, my screen's going to be quite laggy at the moment because I'm uh, recording on my laptop, which doesn't have a built-in capture card, so it does slog a little bit. It's not really that powerful. Well, it's a fairly powerful laptop for what I paid for it, but it's not, it's not that powerful. But what I've got here is my character rig. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to be re I'm going to be releasing this shortly after uploading this video, um, you'll find a link to it in the description, in the description by the way. <coughs> Sorry, I've still got a cold. I'm going to tell you how to make it to not how to make an animation but to ha how to get an animation out of Maya and into CryEngine for Star Citizen characters. Now I'm going to have to make a disclaimer at the very beginning of this. The tool, this, this kit is only going to be available in Maya and for it to work for it to be of any use to you, to you you need to have an old build of Star Citizen loaded into CryEngine you're talking pre 2.0 stuff here uh, the process itself is relatively simple, it's just a copy and paste from an old build, but um, I can't remember where you can find these old builds. Uh, there is a way of doing it, uh, but I can't remember how. <laughs> uh, there are plenty, if you go on the modding forums, the old modding forums, the uh, legacy ones on the RSA website, it's in there, alright? I'll link the one of the threads you'll need to have a look through. And uh, you'll find information in there. That's how I found it. I just can't remember where. And by all means, feel free to share it to people. But today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about this this guy. So, what this is, if I just hide the Gladius cockpit, which I make, which I didn't make, I extracted from the game. I'm using it as a set. So, what this is, is a fully kitted out animation rig. Um, there's one problem with it at the moment, and that's the IKFK system. So, what the IKFK stuff is, IK is essentially, if you have an arm, okay, in, IK is inverse kinematics, so the position of the, if I just enable the joints, and I'll show them through. So, you see the skeleton bones here. Now, the position, the rotations of the upper arm and the lower arm here will depend on the position of the hand, like that. Move it there, there we go. You see how that depends on it? Now, that's IK, so the, the end will affect the rest up until the point you define. Now, forward kinematics would mean that this rotation here would affect the rotation down here, which would affect the position of the hand. That's basically what it is. So it's just it's the direction of control. Now, <clears throat> like I said, currently this isn't working for forward kinematics, even though there's a switch. Um, that's because while well, the system's not set up properly, and I'm not that experienced with rigging, so I couldn't really figure it out. But if anyone would like to take a stab at it and upgrade the rig, by all means, feel free. I would love it if you did that. And uh, <laughs> if you want to send me a copy, please do. But yeah, so. I'm not going to go over the, you know, all the controls and stuff because I'm assuming some knowledge of animation here, probably more than me, which isn't saying much to be fair. But there are basic and IK controls. You've got your pole vector control, your hand control. Uh, you've also got finger controls, which are very easy to script into nice little buttons. Um, what else? The CIG can CIG control. Now this this is cool. The spine. Ring. The spine setup is a little bit different, so each of the different spine joints are tied to a locator out in front, and this locator twists linearly, so if I were to twist the hips here, now the twist distribution between there and there will be linear between these two points, which is really cool. Now the this um, chest isn't parented to that, but they are but but they are both parented to the CRG. That's just that's just because I'm animating in a, in a spaceship and I'm finding it a little bit easier doing it in that way. Um, what else? The twist joints there, I just ignore them. They're for the FK thing, that doesn't work. We've got pole vectors for each of the knees. 
And uh, we've also got on the feet, I'll just zoom in on the feet because the feet are really cool and they actually work as intended. We've got toe roll controls, so you got toe roll there. We've also got, you can control the feet from toe there, or you can control the feet from the heel, or you can just control it from the ankle. Now the skinning is not amazing, it's by no means perfect, but it'll do the job, and it does the job pretty well I dare say, for what we want. Now, <coughs> when it comes to getting stuff in the game, oh, there's no face rig by the way, it's just a helmet, uh, because this is intended for body animation, and this here is the global control. Um, there is one little problem in that if you turn it 180 degrees on the z-axis, it, um, it messes up the hips, but for the game animation, it shouldn't really be a problem, you can just animate it in one way, then in the game just turn it around 180 degrees, which isn't a problem, considering this is all for machinima. Um, I was going to say something, yeah, so the deformations not being perfect on the character isn't a major issue. The reason I say that is because you are not going to be using this in the game. What you're, what, what you want to be interested in is the, are the joints, alright, not so much the mesh, but more of the joints. If I hide the, uh, what you call it, polygons, I don't know where my global node went, let me just uh, find it here, world, where are you? Oh, that's because I moved everything, right. And the uh, leg joints are hidden anyway because I kind of hid them. Okay. So, what I've got here, right, is uh, if I show the polygons again, and I'll bring up the Gladius cockpit. This isn't textured, by the way. It's just, uh, it's just a little set for their proportions and stuff. So, if I just play this animation, it might play it pretty well. So, it's kind of in the Gladius pilot, hit from behind, and it's weighted bank right. Okay, um, I haven't animated the hands because I don't need to because it won't be in the shot. The, the hands won't be in the shot. So we've got a little hit there, look right, and then, yeah. So I'm not going to talk about, I'm not really going to go over how to do this. It's just very basic animation. Um, but I am going to go over how to get this out of CryEngine, and out of Maya, sorry, and into CryEngine. <coughs> now, this tool will only be available in Maya because um, that's just the tool I'm using and I'm selfish and. If you want to do it for another tool, another program, by all means. Um, but yeah, this is a. Uh, this took a lot. This took me quite a few days. So, <laughs> if you want to do it for another program, by all means, feel free. Um, the main important thing is the skeleton, not so much the the control rig, but the skeleton is what is going to set us apart from other stuff because this was extracted from the game files uh, through some stuff, a little bit of conversion in, mo in Motion Builder, and uh, brought into Maya, and then a control rate build. So, I've rambled enough, let's actually get this out of here. So, right, so right now, on this skeleton, there is no keyframe. There are no keyframes whatsoever. We need to add keyframes to it. How am I going to do that? Well, you click on the root joint, which is in Global, <coughs> Joints, World, right? And then we'll just click, that's the root joint, and then you just select the hierarchy, the entire hierarchy of the, of the, uh, skeleton. And then you go to, under the animation menu, you go to key. And then it is bake animation. Click on the options, so, hierarchy selected, channels all keyable. Uh, driven by shapes, because it's driven, it is driven by shapes. And I'm going to add it to a new layer, so I can delete it later. Uh, keep on bake keys. Disable. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna bake it there. So this, what this will do, will take the, it'll take all the movements that are being driven by the controls, and it'll put it onto the skeleton joints. Now, it basically translates it to a bunch of rotations. So 60 frames. Add in the keys. Done. Okay. So if I select this now, you see all the keys are on the skeleton and it's in its own animation layer, bake results, which I'm going to be deleting at some stage anyway because I'm not actually done with this animation. Um, okay, so to export it, it's very simple. <coughs> I'm going to delete that because uh, that was one I messed up earlier, so I'm just going to... So in the export menu, click on Animation Manager, Anim Manager. I'm going to delete that. Uh, click on New. And then type the name of your animation. What's it going to be called? Mine's going to be called SAR for I'm not telling you. 
because it's secret. Oh, it's a big giveaway. Uh, bank, right. Uh, modified, because I did one before and it was nowhere near as good as this one. That's saying something. Alright, so I'll start frame 0, end frame 60, because that's what I've got. Uh, the route, you got to select the route, and then, which is the world, and then click select, sorted, in path, browse, and that's going to go to where you want to save it. So I've already got, so what you want to do, you want to put it in your cry engine build, game SDK, I'm going to put it in animations, then characters, human, now for it to work with other stuff, the stuff already in game, you need to put it in either the mail or mail v6 folder. It depends on the kind of skeleton you've got on the rig. Uh, yeah, it's the kind of skeleton you've got in the character. So if it's an older, um, a very old character with the VHM skeleton, put it in mail. If it's got the V6 skeleton, put it in mail V6. It is, I think it is compatible with both, but if it doesn't work, it's for the other one. And then I'm going to put in custom SCCU SAR because that's why I've got stuff saved. save and then click on add and then close and then you'll have the animation here and then you can just export selected animations so it's gonna take a little while for me because I'm on a laptop and it's uh, screaming at me help me it's all good though sorry just drinking some diet coca-cola because I'm a fat kid um, okay so that's it, exported. Now we should see it. If I go into, if I just load up Explorer, go to Game SDK, Animations, Characters, Human, V6, and Custom. That was a terrible Aussie accent. I'm really sorry to have my friends that are from Australia. Alright, so there we go, the animation should be there. See, I've got a few because I've done this twice because I had to cut, I had to cut, but oh well. So that's it, that's all we need to do. So, provided you put it in the game SDK folder on the mail v6 or mail, uh, it will show up in the character editor. So, let's do that. So, I've got Cry Engine open here. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm just going to quickly save just in case it crashes because it tends to do that because my laptop sucks. I'm going to open up the character editor, which will take a little moment. Okay, so we've got it loaded here. And if I just show the joints, you can see the joints are very similar to the ones I had earlier. <coughs> So, I'm going to scroll down a bit to animation. Look, custom, SECU, SAR, Bankrate. So, this is the one I did, Bankrate modified. I'm going to import. So, it's going to have to compress because it's an un it is an uncompressed animation file. Okay, so it was just taking a while because I'm on a laptop, but that's basically it. So, which one am I on? I have Bank modified, so. Yeah, so all you gotta do is just import it. It'll take a little while to compress, but this is the animation look in CryEngine. So it's. Oh, what? Bankrat, Bankrat. So, yeah, that's the animation. How cool is that? So, you can use this to go off and make your own machinima. So, that's basically how you get it in. Um, if you have any problems, I'll link the CryEngine documentation below, which will be very helpful to you I promise and uh, yeah and all this will also work with other characters so if I load this up and I'm going to have to pause this recording for a little while while it does this all right there we go look take a look at that so that is the same animation applied to a UEE light guy of course, the face isn't really a face, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna, I'll apply it to one of my. Uh, who could I apply it to? I'll apply it to someone. I can't really apply it to anyone else because I don't have any other V6s up. Uh, I've got Marine 2. Let's check this out. All right. By the way, if you get an error that says skeleton alias is not specified, just go into the animation and just change the skeleton alias from BHM skeleton V6 to BHM skeleton. You can change it to other things if you need to. You know, it's gonna have to be a BHM though, but it'll it'll just make it make it work for some stuff that might not be working. So this is uh, just a another marine. It's a, just a different kind of light marines, the captain and oh, this is the instructor outfit. 
So there you go. No facial expressions because this is not a facial rig. But uh, yeah, so how cool is that? So yeah, this guy sits in a gladius. And you can put him in a gladius in the track view. And it'll work. So I hope this is kind of useful for using this bit of kit, this uh, little animation rig. Just showing how easy it actually is. Uh, you might get some problems with the uncompressed animations, but to do that, you, to fix that, there are some workarounds to compress the actual animation and save it as a compressed file, which, you know, I don't really know how to do <laughs> yet. But uh, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is just how to get this stuff into CryEngine. So, there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to PM me on Discord. I'll put an overlay here that says my Discord, my Spectrum name, sorry. Special name, feel free to PM me. Uh, it'll probably be easier than a comment because uh, it's kind of I am, I am insta messaging stuff. But yeah, thanks guys. And like I said, this will only work with V6 or below assets from the Star Citizen game, the old game. So you have to make sure it's that. It will not work with other stuff that might be unrelated to Star Citizen. So just please bear that in mind. Um, and it'll only work in Maya unless someone decides to do a conversion. Um, yeah, cheers guys, and catch you later.